Whenever I do my videos from this angle, you guys ask me about this right here. What is that display in my kitchen and why is it shaped so oddly? So today I'm gonna answer that question and let you know all about my Samsung Family Hub 2.0 Smart Refrigerator. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Everett here, editor in chief of gearlive.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech, gadgets, and gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be giving you guys a look and a rundown of the Samsung Family Hub 2.0 Smart Refrigerator. That's what you see back there. That's what that display is. The fridge has a 21.5 inch touchscreen display and it's running Samsung's Tizen OS. So there's apps built in and other stuff you can do with it as well. The fridge was sent over by Best Buy in order for me to evaluate and do a review. So big shout out to them as well. So rather than talk to you about the fridge sitting here, why don't we jump over there and I can give you a better rundown of what this thing can do. It's pretty awesome. All right guys, so here it is. This is the Samsung Family Hub 2.0 refrigerator. The specific model that I have, this is a four door French door style and it sells for $5,199. You can get it right now at Best Buy or bestbuy.com. There are other models as well. All the models do include the 21 and a half inch display running Samsung's Tizen OS, so you don't need to spend on the highest model in order to get the smart features of this fridge. In fact, the entry level model starts at $3299, which is about $1,900 less than this guy right here. The Samsung Family Hub helps you manage your home and your life with food management, family connection, and entertainment capabilities, all controlled from the 21 and a half inch touchscreen display. And being a Samsung smart device, this TV also has Bixby built in. Hey Bixby, what's the weather today? Saturday looks like it will be a cloudy day with a high of 78. So pretty much anything you can ask Bixby to do on your Samsung Galaxy S8, you can ask it to do here on this fridge as well. So let me quickly go through some of the features on here that I think are cool. First, I mentioned food management. This fridge has cameras inside of it that allow you to see what's inside the fridge, either on the display here without opening the door. Although I think that's a little odd because you can just open the door and see what's inside. But the cool part about it is since this is a connected fridge, I can actually pull up the app on my smartphone, iOS or Android, and see what's inside my fridge when I'm at the grocery store or really anywhere else that I feel like taking a peek at what's inside here. And you can even manage a food list of the fridge, which if you're like me and sometimes you put things in there and forget about them in the back, this will remind you that some things may need to be thrown out. I also mentioned family connection right on the fridge. You can manage different profiles for different people in your family and you can leave different content for those people. So you can leave notes for different people. You can access a family calendar if you want to, to see what's going on throughout the day, week or month. And you can even leave memos for everyone to view or for specific people. And lastly, I mentioned entertainment and that might be one of the coolest parts of this fridge. Depending on where your fridge faces when you're in in the kitchen, you're gonna get more or less use out of this feature. But the first one is music. So you can play music from it. It has Pandora built in, it has Spotify built in, tune in radio and some others as well. So you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to music and it'll just play right from the fridge. But since the fridge has Bluetooth built in as well, you can connect to a pair of Bluetooth headphones or to a Bluetooth speaker to get even better sound. Now even cooler, if you have a Samsung smart TV, you can also mirror the TV right here on this display. So if you're watching something in another room and you have to go grab yourself a drink or get something out of the fridge or just head to the kitchen, you won't miss anything. You won't miss any action, you won't miss any plot line because you'll have it mirrored right here on this display. You can also have a photo gallery going. There's moving wallpapers as well. And there's even apps to help you get your shopping done. So for example, I can shop with Instacart and get my groceries delivered. I can shop on Grubhub, order food from a local restaurant and have that delivered. Or if I feel like using the kitchen to actually cook some food, there's even recipes built in here as well. And of course, let me not forget about the actual refrigerator features. You've got four doors here, as I mentioned. The fridge is up top behind these two doors. There is an external water dispenser with a filter that also gives you crushed ice and cubed ice. 
There's a freezer on the bottom in a drawer with a drawer on the inside. So you've got two bins plus a drawer inside the freezer. And then probably my favorite part of the fridge is this middle area. This is called the flex zone. And inside the flex zone, you can pretty much store whatever you want. But the cool thing is you can control the temperature of the flex zone separately from both the freezer and the fridge. So once again, big shout out to Best Buy for sending over the Samsung Family Hub 2.0 fridge. But now I want to hear from you guys, actually. Would you pick up a smart fridge? Is this something that you would buy if you were in the market for a refrigerator? Or do you not really care? Do you think a smart fridge is kind of over the top? jumping the shark. Let me know down in the comments below and I'm gonna meet you guys down there for further discussion. Now switching subject real quick, for about two years you guys have been asking me about t-shirts and where you can buy t-shirts that support the channel. I never had shirts, I never had shirts made until now. There's a live store right now Head over there, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can pick up a bunch of different YouTube related and Gear Live Andrew Edwards related gear right there in order to support the channel and rep the tech squad. Be sure to click or tap on my face when you see it down here at the bottom of the screen. If you're not subscribed already, that'll let you do that. And don't forget to click or tap on the bell notification icon in order to be one of the first to know when a new video drops. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.